Hello everybody, back here again for another vlog day, and today is Friday the 8th, and today was a drizzly, rainy, overcast day, but still a great day to be alive. Um, any day that you're upright and moving is a good day to be alive. So, um, good news on the foot, um, it's still leaking, still pussing, still kind of gross, but the good news part is... It's, um, the pain's cut back enough that I actually forgot that my foot was in pain for, I'm going to guess 45 minutes, maybe, maybe an hour at most. Um, I was on the computer, um, pretty entrenched in some stuff and I was at the computer for about an hour and a half. And at some point along that time frame, I only been five minutes, I don't know, but at some point during that time frame, I had forgot my foot was in pain. So I got up to go to the bathroom. I had to go to the bathroom pretty back. So it was, like I said, it was pretty intense what I was doing on the computer. And as I got up, took off, I made one step with my right foot and everything was great. My left foot hit the floor and it was instant pain. And But I realized at that moment, I had forgot my foot was hurting. So it was like the first time since December like 20th that, um, and that was only like, before that was after the first surgery, which we went back six weeks for that. But it was the first time like I'd forgot that my foot was in pain and it was awesome feeling. It was that it sucks because that that shock of like, what the hell's wrong with my foot? It took a minute. But once I realized, oh yeah, it's that damn staph infection and trying to clear that crap up, I had this great like, yes, I did forgot about it for a minute. And it was a cool feeling. Um it's kinda like when you um end a relationship and you're all kind of depressed and you're bummed and that kind of stuff. And then you realize you're like, oh crap, I'd forgot I used to be in love with that person. So it's that cool feeling of like, I got hope that my foot's going to get better. So definitely excited about that. Um, had a real shoe on again today. Um, I need to get a different shoe. So it's off. It's, I don't know. It presses down so hard. I got to figure out a different, the, the shoe I'm trying to wear is a little bit too tight. So I got to figure it out. I got loose as I can. I still isn't good enough. So I got to figure out a different shoe to wear. And I'm wearing one of my shoes that are real thick sold because I want the extra padding in that um, when I'm out walking around on it. And plus, it's been wet and muddy and gross here. Uh, the temperature is like 37 today. Um, it was warm, but the rain and stuff, melting a lot of snow and that. We got ice coming in. It's supposed to be like a high of like zero tomorrow. Wind chills like negative 35 possibly. So that will not be good. But I did, um, got a bunch of stuff done today. Nothing really fun kind of thing per se. Um, end up going out for my, uh, keep my run streak alive. It was stopped raining, thankfully. Uh, still is trying, everything was dripping off the trees and stuff. So it's been drizzling rain all day, but we didn't actually get rained on, which was awesome. So I had us out with, you know, somebody else and she was happy we weren't getting rained on either. So that was definitely a good thing. I uh, left Bruce unleashed this whole walk, um, run, whatever you want to call it. It's, it was a walk. It was 19, 18 minutes and like 43 second pace, but fast I go with the, um, the foot the way it is. So definitely, um, left Bruce on leash today because I went in a different direction, more into town and by the highway and stuff, didn't want to take a chance of getting hit by cars or nothing. So he was a little bit upset with me because I left him on leash to let him run around and play independently, but it's good for him also because he's been getting a little bit ornery and kind of feeling his oats a little bit too much with, um, thinking he's high and mighty and I have to actually listen to what I say all the time. So it was a little bit of a disciplinary, um, uh, type situation, but plus also just keeping him safe mostly. So from there, um, got back. Um, ended up decided to go to the store instead of messing up tomorrow. It's going to be super cold tomorrow. Decided to hell with it. Went ahead and went to the store, got my grocery shopping done, got back, then decided to shovel off my back deck and the back steps and some other, widened out some of the paths and stuff that I had um, not really cared about before. But like I said, it was a warm day, made it easy. Stuff was heavy as hell, but I was able to push it off the other way, all the, you know, left snow that I needed to move out of the way because it's going to be, like I said, it'll be zero. Uh, it's a high, I think the high for tomorrow is like nine degrees or some crap. So definitely, um, that's going to suck, but it's one of those things I'm glad that I got this stuff out of the way and the snow and that, and with the drizzle and the rain coming in, there's a good chance we're gonna have some nasty ice and it might knock down some power lines and that stuff, which will not be fun, but I've got propane heaters and stuff. Um, I shouldn't freeze to death. I just won't have power in that, which will suck, but I'll be able to stay alive at least temperature wise. So. Um, from there, um, ended up just kind of chilling out, doing stuff. I'm talking much people on scope. I did like an over an hour long scope. It was ridiculous. Um, had a great time on it though. Um, a lot of fun. Um, also, um, got on the computer and was looking for some real estate, looking for some properties and that and spent uh, a couple hours looking at different places. Um, don't know what I'm doing yet with my whole property here and stuff and the building this shop. I don't know if I can even rebuild the garage in the same location because zero property lines and whatnot, and whatever. Um, also, the cost of rebuilding the garage, you know, is I can buy a house for, you know, not much more than that. So I got to decide what I want to do. Um, the idea kicked around my head. Of, I found a place that's a little more than I want to spend, um, but it's just money kind of thing. And I found a place that's got a handful of land and whatnot and a decent place. 
gigantic, uh, like 36 by 46, like that shop, I think it was, gigantic, it's like a two-story high uh, Morton building, so a guy could put some mezzanine storage up in it and stuff, it's actually a single all open, but it's easily two-story high building, so a guy could put in tons of storage above it if he wanted to out build it out better than that, so, but like I said, it's way more than I wanted to spend, I'd have to actually, I'd, well, yeah, I'd probably get a mortgage, and I hate the idea of getting a mortgage on a property, but I could come pretty close to it. If I wanted to sell um, a couple of, like this house and the um, rental next door, I could write a check for it, but it's buying it and selling these at the same time is hard to do. But if I buy it and rent these two out, then I could make the payment easily off the rent here kind of thing. So just depends on what it is, and I won't have to take much of a mortgage. I would have like probably a $40,000 mortgage on it, so it wouldn't be too bad. I would cover the rest, you know, just writing a check kind of thing, so... But I don't know if I want to. I don't know if I'd want to be in debt um, at, for something like that. Just I don't. It seems weird to do. I also have the idea of just staying to hell with it and um, going and buying a little RV and driving around the country for a while and doing that too. So I I got to get back into running so I can get my mind cleared, um, get my foot um, healed up so I can basically get into running and get my answers answered that way. So I'm definitely going to be making a trip. I got to go somewhere. I got to do something. Um, don't know where I'm going or what I'm doing yet, but I got to do something. And I got to see the, the doctor freaking every Wednesday, at least next week. And I think the week after we got scheduled out. So um, I can't go real far with only being able to be gone a week. So definitely that part is sucking. I need to get the um, van down somewhere south and somewhere warm so I can finish doing some work on it because I can't get the glues to stick. I can't get the... Um, the different spray on foams and stuff I got to do to work in these cold temperatures. So that, or I got to find a shop that somebody has a heated shop and I'm not having much luck with that either. So, um, definitely, definitely, um, figuring something out, but who knows it all come together and I'll get it all work out in the long run. So definitely having a good time. I wish I was in Florida for tomorrow. There's a um, crime line chili cook off and that seems like a really good event, but with the foot could not get down there and back in time for my doctor's appointments and whatnot. So anyway, that's all I got for now. I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Have yourself a safe and wonderful day. Thanks for watching.